Hello my friend, I'm going to show you now one of my favorite chord changing exercises. When you first start playing, one of the most difficult things to do is simply to move from one chord to the other without having to stop the beat of a song. For this, now this will work with any song, but I'm going to use the chord progression from the Green Day song, uh, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life. And um, that should be over in the song section but I'm gonna show you the chords again. It's a G chord, but I'm gonna do it the G chord this way where I have the third fret down on my first and second strings like that. The second chord is gonna be the C add nine chord, which is just like the G chord, except the first and the second finger are just plopping down a string. So that's a pretty easy change, relatively speaking. Technically, you're not supposed to hit the sixth string on this one, but if you hit it a little bit, it's okay. You can also come up and touch it if you want and deaden it a little bit if that helps. Just a little, little tip or trick there. And then our third chord is D major. Okay. Now, there is one finger here, incidentally, that doesn't move the whole time, and it's your third finger. And if you can just keep it down the whole time, it's going to make things a little bit easier. It's called a pivot finger. But if it wants to come up just a little bit and then come back down, that's certainly not going to hurt anything either. So let's say you want to play this song. But it's just a little bit hard to, to keep that, those changes in the beat when you're doing strum pattern number four, which is the one we're going to use for this song. So here's one of my favorite exercises. We are in 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. We're going to play only on beat one of each measure, and we're just going to do a down strum on the chord. Okay? I'll show you what I mean. Ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Now, here's the key to this exercise, though. Whenever it gets to be beat one of the next measure, you have to strum even if you don't have the chord, even if you're like changing from that G to the C and you're like, ah, just strum it anyway. This is really a big part of this exercise, okay? Don't try to get it right, just strum it anyway, you'll get it next time. It's very important to do it that way, okay? So let's try it together, you can try it with me. We'll do the same thing I just did. Ready, play. One, two, three, four. One. That's how I decided to go back to the G since it repeats. The song, I should have been more clear on this, but we have two measures of G, one measure of C add nine, one measure of D. Then it repeats. So why don't we add going back to that G as if we were repeating to do the whole chord progression again. Now say you did that with me and you're like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I just strum it and then I can kind of go ahead and start changing. And that's what I want you to do. One, two, three, four, one. Say you're going to that D chord. One, two, three, four. You can change while the counting is going on. But once you get used to doing that, now we're going to change it just a little bit. Now we're going to strum on beat one and beat two, and you get beat three and four to change. So it's going to be like this. You can do it with me. Ready, play. One, two, three, four. And remember, you use those times we're counting to do it, go ahead and change. Uh, I'm not changing till it's just habit, uh, till kind of the end, but you can start changing the second after you strum those chords twice. If this is too fast for you, by the way, do the same exercise, but just slow it down. You could even use a metronome if you wanted to. Now, you'll probably guess what the next phase of this exercise is. We are now going to strum the chord three times and have just beat four as empty and time to change. You ready? Ready, play. One, two, three, four. 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 And 
and so on. And now you know what the next phase is. We just do four downs and we don't stop. And the pick must keep going even if the fingers aren't quite keeping up. This exercise is about pushing your left hand a little bit. Even if you're diving for it a little bit, this exercise is about pushing you. All right, so let's try it. One, two, ready, play. One, two, Now, once you get comfortable with that, and hey, you may need to take a break at this point, right? But once you get comfortable with that, then you can go back and put in your preferred strum pattern, which for this song, for me, is strum pattern number four that we learned in our strum pattern lesson. Ready, play. This will work in any song. There could be a different time signature or a few different amount of beats in each measure. So if your song only has three beats in each measure, you can do the same thing and just adjust it to threes instead of fours. Although honestly, the exercise will work no matter how you do it, um, since we're just practicing changing. And of course it will work with any chord progression. And uh, it's, but remember the key is to make yourself strum when the beat gets there even if you don't have it yet, because you're training your fingers and your hand to kind of dive for that chord. You can worry about being precise in another exercise. This one is about making yourself do it no matter what. Good luck.